I went to a pro lacrosse game over the weekend, and here are my takeaways. Over the weekend, the Firewolves threw it back for a retro night and became the Albany attack as they took on the Toronto Rock, and the Firewolves said, hey, Mr. Vintage, bring the family, let's go. So they threw me four tickets, and here's what I observed. First up, jerseys. As you can see, the Firewolves threw it back to the Albany attack with these old school logos. The color, the logo, and everything brought everyone right back, and people loved what they did. As for the game, they had a lot of different retro touches. You could get your picture taken in a photo booth and also had music for each quarter. 70s, 80s, 90s, and 2000s. Let me just tell you, the family was loving the old school now, music. Now, a couple things I didn't like. MVP Arena charging $8.50 for a hot dog. $17 for chicken tenders. When the hell did concession food get so And expensive? if that's not enough, the bathrooms at MVP Arena were in the basement, so it was almost like going on the New York subway. You had to go up and down those stairs. Let me tell you, I'm Mr. Vintage doing those stairs like that. I wanted something I did like. The Firewolves Wolf Bite Drink was unbelievable. If you are of age, I recommend grabbing one of these. It was Another cool thing at the Firewolves game was the minute to win it. Each game, a lucky fan gets selected, and if the Firewolves score within that minute time limit, they get free wings for the year. It was pretty exciting, but it didn't happen. Doug Jamison, my favorite player by far. And I know I'm late to the party. But Tom Schreiber is a really good lacrosse player. Overall, it was a great experience, and I thank the Albany Firebowls for having me out for Retro Night. Will I be back to an Albany game? Yes, I will. I'm definitely a fan, but I also want to check out some new NLL places. Where should I go next? Comment below which stadium I should check out next. And do me a favor. Make sure you're following. Make sure you're liking and sharing. I appreciate that as always. And stay vintage.